In today's video, I'll show you how to store your AWS Amplify project on GitHub and then use Amplify hosting to host it online so that others can see it. And this is what the final result will look like. Once you've uploaded all your files, you should be able to click on this link and you'll now see your AWS Amplify project at this specific URL. So to start, we can go ahead and just open a new tab and go to this URL, which is just github.com backslash new, which will bring us to this create a new repository page. And once we're on this page, go ahead and type in a repo name. So I'll just do like Amplify Hosting Tutorial. And then just make it public or private. And then just click on Create a Repository. And once this is done, you should see a screen very similar to this. And we'll be following the instructions for like the first set of code that you see here. And just before we begin, if you haven't created your own AWS Amplify project before, I'll show a link on the screen right now to my other video showing you exactly how you can do that. And once you've completed all of those steps, feel free to resume the video. So to start, I'll basically go to my project and I'm just going to make it like side by side just so it's a little easier to follow along. But after that, we'll go ahead and just open up a terminal and make sure you're in the root directory of your project. And once you've confirmed that, go ahead and just type in the command git init as our first command. And you should see this message. And then for the next step, instead of just adding a readme file, uh, we're just going to add all the files. Uh, by typing in the command git add and then the start symbol. And once you type that command, go ahead and just type in git commit uh, initial commit and hit enter. And once we've typed in that command, we'll go ahead and just type in the git branch followed by dash capital M followed by main and hit enter. And once you've typed in that command, then we'll just go ahead and copy the command that we see here and we'll just go ahead and paste it and then for the very last command we'll go ahead and just copy this git push origin main command and hit enter and now it says like the new branch was set up correctly and now if we refresh our git repo you should now see all the code from our implementer project now commit to this specific repo and now for the next step we can just go back to aws amplify and here this is a list of all the amplify apps we have go ahead and click on the amplify project that we just made and once you get to the screen, go ahead and just click on this tab called Hosting Environments. And from here, go ahead and just select GitHub. And then go ahead and select Connect Branch. And now, it might ask you to go ahead and connect your GitHub account. Go ahead and do that. But once you have successfully completed that, you should see a screen very similar to this, where it says the GitHub authorization was successful. And now, go ahead and just type in your GitHub repository name. So I'll just do the repo that we just created, which is Amplify Hosting Tutorial, and go ahead and select the branch, and I'll just be doing main, and click on next. And once you get in this screen, pretty much leave all of the settings exactly as you see them, except for environment, go ahead and just choose dev, and then go ahead and just click next here at the bottom of the screen, and then just go ahead and hit save and deploy. And once you've done all the steps, you see a screen very similar to this, where it says creating branch, main success. And now we just have to wait a couple minutes for our changes to take effect. And now the whole upload process is complete. And now if we click on this generated URL that AWS uh, Amplify Hosting gave us, you can now see that this is like the Amplify app we had running locally, and it's now running at this specific uh, URL. And this is the end of the tutorial. If you had any issues, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll do my best to get back to you. And if you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more content.